Hey, it looks like we are live, so welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing more Advent of Code. So, we're on to day 10 now. Mm, hopefully, there's no internet issues again, uh, like the last two days. <clears throat> so, um, let's see. I apologize for my voice. Um, I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, so uh, hopefully it is not too distracting. But yeah, so we're doing day 10, part 2. Um, got through some of it yesterday. Um, mm, okay, I didn't realize it was at that point, but okay. Um, so basically, what we have to do is find all of the nodes that are, um, or all of the, um, all of the tiles that are within the loop, essentially, that are contained, such as these. Um, <clears throat> so right now, uh, it's not quite working. It's almost working, I think. Uh, something I'm not considering, though, is this, um, because this is supposed to not be considered, so that is something that I'll have to figure out how to do exactly. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to get it to work with this, at least right now, and then I can expand it after. Um, right now, the way I'm doing it, I think I'm going to need to change something. So I'm going to introduce another enumerated. So we'll have uh, not check. Um, let's see, and then this is mm, enclosed and not enclosed. Um, and then we'll set it to that. So on each tile, we'll have a... Actually, I need... Mm, so this is like the state. State. Um, state. Alright, um, <clears throat> so yeah, by default it'll be not checked. Um, I think. Should be. Actually, I'm gonna have to set it, probably. So, yeah, I wanna set it to be not checked. In the same way as this. So, just... Set it equal zero. Okay, um, cause that way, uh, it'll start out as not checked, and then we can check, um, if they're already checked, and it's equal to, um, not enclosed, then we know that all the ones that we're coming from are also not enclosed. So we can do something like that as well. Um, so we need to check it in here. This is where we are checking. This could actually be a part of the issue. So what is the test input that we're using right now? We're using this, which is 11, 11 by 9. Okay. Does it need to be like this? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know why it's safe. Okay. I don't recall it doing this yesterday, but it um, kind of ended abruptly yesterday because my internet died. Uh, yeah, so that isn't it. Um, see, if I do this, then does it work? Probably not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's not going to work. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I might need to reconsider some things. Let me see what this says. Uh, it looks like we don't even go through that. So... Yeah, so once we get to one of these, then it stops working. So it must be right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because we're printing out all the tiles here, and then we get to one that we're trying to check. Uh, so we're on four, which I think is a seven. Mm, so why are we trying to check this one? It's a little strange. Okay. Mm, we are checking this though, so that's not exactly what the issue is. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, well, so I can implement it so we can set the state, essentially. So, we can do this, or... Mm, or, tiles... Uh, let's see, tiles xy dot state equals not enclosed. Uh, then we can return zero, because it's not enclosed. Um, and that's if we have already checked it. Basically, what I'm doing here, though, is recursively checking. Um, well, so first of all, we're checking if one of them is connecting, and then we iterate this. Otherwise, um, if it is a ground type, then we check recursively on that, and we'll basically go through the entire thing. So, like, say we're starting here, then it'll look at these, and then it will look over here, and then it will check all these, and it'll go all the way through until it finds one that's not enclosed, and then it will set all the rest of them equal to the same thing. Essentially, is what's going on. So I also need to set it here. So let me just do tiles i j dot uh, state equals enclosed because uh, we do want to set that because we're going to need to use that. Um. Okay. So yeah. So we implemented it there, and then we need to check. Mm -hmm. So maybe I need to check this again. Tiles x plus one y dot state equals not enclosed. So if it's already set to that, maybe I should check that first, though. 
It should be fine. Then we can just return zero because we know that it is not. Um, and yeah, we want to do that for all of them. Except we do need to change this to be the right, the right location. So this is now a, uh, y plus one. Okay. Then the last one here, y minus one. Okay. So let's. I still don't think it's gonna work. Um, I need to figure out why it is safe all thing exactly. Actually, I might not be setting this to the right thing. Mm, height equals nine. The height is nine. Yeah, it's not. Mm, let me get rid of that. Because it's not a square like it's supposed to be. Let me try to get it working on uh, on this test input. On this one right here. Because this is pretty straightforward. So if I run that, um, I will need to actually adjust things because this is not right. Uh, yeah, so this, it's going to be 5x5, five five, I think. 5x5. Yeah, five five. It is actually square. A lot of things depend on it. So, count is 1. Okay, let me not print is enclosed. Not print this out. And C. Alright, so that did actually detect it properly. But this one is also quite simple. Uh, I might be able to just adjust this myself. Or if I extend it a little. Um, in all dimensions, and then just extend this pipe out. So basically, move it over like that, and then we have two, two that should be enclosed here. You can see. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to change this again. I can only six by six. Okay, and then it breaks. Okay, that's interesting. So where exactly is it breaking? Maybe this needs to extend downwards or um, I mean, that shouldn't really be it, but... Fine. Okay. Let me see if that... That works. Um, actually, it's now 7, isn't it? No, it's 6. 6 by 6, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, why does that cause it to break? So, after the first line, it breaks. Uh -huh, ta -ta, let's see. Let me get in here. Yeah. Tiles. Uh, tiles with... Uh, okay, and then height. Let me put it out and see sort of where it's ending it. Because I'm pretty sure it is in this function. Could be at least. Uh, ooh, okay. So it gets stuck in a loop. Hmm. Or it's just calling it a bunch of times. So maybe actually... Let me print out the current tile. That's x1. It might be accessing out of bounds, actually. Hmm. Is... It shouldn't be, but it could be. Which I need to print out just the just the type I think. Then I'll have enough information to see if it's different. because uh, we are calling it physically and it might be stuck. It might be stuck. So it's the same one. Mm. Yeah, it's always gonna be called on this actually, I guess. So So, um Maybe I should just print out X and Y. Because then I can get some more information. Okay. So I'm going to adjust this, x and y. Okay. So it's going back and forth. Um, ooh, okay. Um, so... Yeah, I see. So I might need to set the state. Um... Like, set it by default just to be as x, y, that state equals not enclosed. Would that work? Mm, okay. Let me get rid of this because now it's hard to tell what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, then it doesn't set anyway, so that won't work. Um, We need to set it actually to be enclosed at the end. Close. Uh, no, that's not right. Got it. Um, state. Let me see if that changes anything. No. Okay, so I can't do it like that. Um, I can't send it to that. But I basically need to check, um, not, so, to make sure that we don't check the same one twice, because that's what we're doing here. Mm, so. Uh, okay, and that's why it gets stuck in sync balls. Okay. So. 
Um, so maybe I could have like a previous. Could I do that? Previous. Um, just like a file. And then, so first of all, the previous would be the same one. And that'd be okay. And then, and then, I'm trying to think here. So if we set the previous to that, then we just need to check. And um, files x plus one y not equal to that. Something like that. And just add that to each one of these. So I can actually copy it. Um, I think so. I will have to adjust all the calls. So we'll need to set previous equal to... Yeah, we can set it in here. And then call it, uh, with previous in here. Could it be a pointer? Alright, uh, it's fine. Uh, oops. Okay. okay. And yeah, just set previous to the current one. Uh, each time we call it. I think that would be good. Okay, and then we have to also adjust it down here. So previous can just be um, iOS X, Y. So just the current one. And I don't think that should break anything. So now I have some issues. Um, because we don't have X, Y, it's I, J. Okay, um... All right, so you can't just compare it like that. So uh, should I do, um, should I pass a pointer? And then it could be mem compare. Mm, I could just check the X and Y. Might do that. Yeah, probably do that. Can I do that? Actually, um, do we have, I don't really have that information, I suppose. So yeah, maybe, maybe it will be, It'll have to be a pointer, okay. Um, so. And you can do this. And yeah, so that should be fine. Actually, can you just compare pointers like that? Um, I think that might work. Yeah, so that's not going to work down here. So that's done. Can I do that? Um, I'm gonna have to make it. Be what I need to do. Uh, ta -ta. let's see. Do I get an error for that? Might work. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so it's safe fault still. So maybe this uh, might not work. Okay. Yeah, it still goes back and forth. So maybe I should just have a vector. Yeah, instead of using this, I could have just a vector of the previous and then just compare the x and y. Do it like that. Um, yeah, and just do that instead. And x will equal uh, x, and y is going to equal the top one. Yeah, let me just pass the previous like that. I think that'll work. So I'll have to update that condition code as well. You might not be able to set it like that. Okay. What is the condition here? So, yeah, it's like this. I do have to get rid of all this, though, so. Okay. Right, x. Y does not equal one dot y. Okay. Okay. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. 
it's a little too far. All right. Uh, yeah, and then I can just pass those in here as well. So, yeah, when we do this, um, I don't think I can just pass it like this, can I? Yeah, that's not going to work out. So I'm going to need to just set a... Create one of these. Um, curve equals... Edit, dot y equals y. Let me just pass that in here. Uh, that should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, um... Uh, yeah, I don't need a pointer, so... There is no Y. Uh, yeah, because it is... I and J. Alright. And that doesn't work either, so... Okay. I can just, uh, I can just do like this. And it works the same, so... Okay. Okay, let's see. So now it does stop. It says the count is zero though, so it didn't work. But uh, it's not getting stuck in a loop, so that's good. Mm, that's a start. So I should probably um print out this. I can see what's going on. Here. So two. Oi. Oi. How are you doing? How are you doing? I am doing well. How are you? Mm, yeah, so that only gets set to 2. Um, yeah, but then it's supposed to iterate again. So that is not quite good. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's see. S19. Uh, Sonia, DZ, these, uh, just follow, thank you, uh, I apologize for, if I pronounce your name wrong, parts of it at least, um, okay, so, yeah, let's see what we gotta do, so, these are not being detected properly, it is detecting these, and then it's just setting these two, these two, so that's not quite good, uh, then we have the one next to it, and it's supposed to iterate it again, but then it just returns not closed, um, which is not right. So, let me print this out and see what I get for that. Ah, uh, yeah, we do get that a bunch of times, so that's not... Mm, but that is for the last ones, yeah? It's hard to tell kind of what's going on. It's like a new line. Let me do it like that, and then uh, comment this out. Let's see what happens. Mm, okay, that's oh uh, yeah. So it doesn't for the these ones. So that's actually fine. Should be fine. Mm, I think so. So I don't think that is the issue. Okay. Mm, so <coughs> this must not be detected properly. Mm, check if enclosed. Let me try that and see how many times we call that. We don't call it at all. Okay. Uh, well, that is the y plus one. So that, that actually probably makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah, so none of these look like they are being called, which is not good. Oh, actually, only one of them is going to be called, I suppose. So, and it should be this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because this one is supposed to be... It's the one next to it. So we start here, I assume. And it should be looking at this one, and then calling this. But it doesn't seem to be doing that. So, um, why does that happen? Perhaps I missed this. Um, is the type not set properly? Mucking about with compiling the Chromium, which is set up to compile for like an hour so before it's done with its shenanigans. So I am just great myself. Pretty cool. Compiling Chromium. Uh, I tried to do that once. That was a while ago. Uh, I don't think I ever successfully did it. I think I ran out of storage space. 
something like that. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so this isn't good. Let's see, is this called it? I am too much. Okay. We got that. Okay. Wait, well, let's try it again. So that is called. Hmm. That's a little bit odd. Uh, why is that set to connecting? Um, hmm. That's not good. Yeah, you need a lot of RAM for it. Yes. It's a big, big project. Where do I set it to connecting? Like connecting equals one. Yeah, right here. So that shouldn't happen for any of the ground, ground ones though. So I don't quite understand why. Maybe I should do um does not equal ground. I uh, need actually type. Yeah, and then do that for all of these as well. Um, because if they are, then they shouldn't be connecting at all. So it's just like uh, a problem. It's a problem. Not type. Uh, shoot. Did I look at? Did I end that to the wrong place? I don't think I did. Okay, I think we're fine. Alright, um, yeah, so that is fine then, so we just have one more. X and one minus one dot right. Okay, um, so... Hmm, alright, so that is still calling it, but... Mm -hmm. Where is this actually happening? So it's on this one, uh, x plus one. I should print out the, um, probably the x and y. And then I can see what we're looking at. So what is the location of the, of that where it's happening? So three and two, so three and two. Right here, wait, is that right? Right here. Hmm. Is that right? Three and three. Hmm. Okay. I think the X and Y are backwards actually there. Hmm. That could be a problem if they are. Because mm, that's not good. Okay. Because the where it's showing is not right. So I might need to actually switch these. Dang it, I don't know. Um, okay. That did something, but let's see. So three and two. So I think that is right now, actually. Yeah, right there. Now it looks like the right location. And then three and three as well. Why so two, three, and threes, though? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here, but this is on the one right next to it. So why is that? Why is that three and three? And then we have another one that says three and three. So what's that about? Hmm. I might need to reconsider how I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. I might want to do just like uh, basically go in each direction until either you hit the border. Just about an hour to go. Then I've hit fair dinkum, mate. Hmm. Not sure exactly what that means, but cool. Uh, I'm assuming you're meaning that's when it is going to finish. Cool. Um, yeah, so what I'm doing, what I'm going to do basically is expand in each direction until either we hit the border or we hit, like, if we go out of bounds or if we hit one of these. I think that makes sense. And then do that for each one. And if you pass over one that is already set to um, not enclosed, then yours automatically gets set to unenclosed because... You can reach that one, if that makes any sense. So I might just kind of figure this whole thing. Um, like this. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I think I can move this, though. Um, because if you do any of those... Yeah, and then I'm just going to expand in each direction. So... Let's see, I could probably do it... Yeah, I'll do it one direction at a time. So I'll do one loop for each direction. So maybe, um, well... 
so I can use a for loop probably. So x um, is less than x is greater than zero. So this will be x will go minus on it. Actually, we'll start with plus. So x is less than width. It should be width. Um, x plus plus. Oh, also let me check. And uh, tiles x y is uh, dot that state does not equal. Oh, sorry, man. I can't really help it. I'm Ozzy. Yeah, no, I can't know where you're coming from, though. Um, yeah, no, don't apologize for it. That's not what I meant. I just didn't know what you meant. Okay. <clears throat> State does not equal, not enclosed. And, um, let's see, what is the last thing? Uh, we also need to make sure, yeah, so, and, we can check that in the loop, I suppose, the next thing. Maybe we can check all of these. So just this, and then if it is... If the state is not enclosed, so if files x, y, that state is not enclosed, then we want to break. And also want to set the current one. Maybe we should have a current as well, like a, make a new x. So instead, instead of this, make like a temporary, temporary one. So like i, sure. And just use i that we don't actually modify it um actually this could still be x uh so we set that one to it we also want to set all the other ones to it mm, but if we're going to check them all individually i don't think it matters too much we can also check if tiles i y mm, dot type is not equal ground so if we do that um and tiles I did that wrong. It's supposed to be I, not Y. Oh, uh, let's see. Tiles I, Y, dot... What is the other thing that we have? So, dot connecting equals 1. So, that is, if it's part of the loop, then, yeah, then we want to... Oops. We want to set it to not enclose. And break as well. All right, I think that's all that we have to do in this loop. And then, at the, at the end, um, we'll just check... On the next iteration so yeah we'll have just another loop so i'm just gonna use four loops for this this one will be i well i is greater than zero i minus one okay and i think we can do pretty much the same thing here and that should be fine and then we have to do it for y as well so uh let me just look through and make sure okay and that should be fine okay so let me do you know copy this and do it for y had system be panic on me yesterday, mate, but, um, should be alright. Wait, yeah, no, I probably need to install another Linux. What is the one that you're using right now? How did it panic? Maybe you should just not use system D anymore. I mean, I'm using it, but, you know, a lot of people don't like it. It's gonna be I, and this is gonna be X. Okay, yeah. Tiles X and I. Okay. Yeah, and then same thing here. Set with Y. No. This Y. Okay. Want to make sure I do it all right. Um, okay. What Linux do you use? I'm using Arch Linux right now. Uh, with system D. So. Okay. Uh, so I think that's good then. Uh, then it should all get set in here. So uh, we don't really we do need to return a value though. So um, if I was x y dot state was not enclosed, then return zero. Else return one. Okay. So if it is enclosed, uh, then we want to do all that. So that should be good then. Okay. So let's see what happens now. Uh, unused parameter previous. Okay, that's okay. Same with no side effect. Whoops, uh, I meant to do equals, not double equals. Okay, and... Uh, what is this? Okay, so where am I doing this at? Um, oh shoot, I did it again here. Okay, now... Um, let 
Wait, is there more? Alright, so un unused parameter previous. Okay, that's fine. Alright, it did not work. Um, so maybe I could print some stuff out and figure out why. So I could be doing something wrong in the logic. Mm. Let's see. Okay, let me print. Uh, I'll need to use this print statement for now. So, um, actually, that was not going to be very useful. Said we'd like to use. Um, yeah, I should add a new one. Um, I'm going to be right back. Just a quick break, about three minutes, and then I will continue with this. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I am back. I was just using Endeavor OS on the laptop for work, and it keeps good, but it just failed after a year and a couple of months. Dang. Uh, so Endeavor OS, actually, I have not really looked into that. I think I messed that up. Endeavor OS. Um, it is Arch-based, right? I believe. Yeah, Arch-based distro, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry that it failed. Yeah, mate, yep, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe you should switch to a Debian. Debian based one. Probably won't fail as, as often. Alright, so let's see. So it's not... Not working. Um, so, at the end, I could print... Actually, I want to return 0. In this case. Instead of breaking. Uh, because then we just want to set it to that by default. So, yeah, we can just do that. Not for that one, though. Only for this one. Okay. So, um, yeah. But we never really set it to enclosed. Uh, no, I messed that up there. Okay, this is what I want. Mm. Alright, alright, alright. And, yeah, so it's always going to be set to that, isn't it? Um, actually, I think I'm doing this backwards. Yeah, uh, this should be enclosed. Not that one, though. This one is right. Okay, and I think that, yeah. Alright, let me see now. Uh, okay, we did actually detect them properly. That's good, then. Uh, so let me try it on the other input. Then. On, uh, let's see, the actual test input that they give this one. I need to adjust the dimensions as well, so it is, I think it's 9 by 11, something like that. Problem now is, got tons of files on there, but without a GUI, it's hard to connect to the internet or open a browser since tons of failed system needs services. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, 
<clears throat> yeah, you can't really open a browser, but you could use a different um a different thing to set it. Can you not like reinstall system D or something like that though? I've never had a problem with that, so I don't know much about that. Uh that is not right at all. Oh shoot, but it's actually mm, I think this is nothing by no right, right? Also, it thinks it's square, so that's not good, because uh, I need to do this. Okay, um, yeah, it's still not right. Because all these got set, so that's not good. So, uh, what do I need to do to fix that exactly? Um, If, um, if this is true, so we should probably check this condition as well at the end. Not at the end, but in each loop. Like that. Um, we also still need it before though, I suppose. So, uh, but instead of X, we want to use I here. Uh, we don't need the Y though. So we just need to check the X and that. Um, we don't need this one. Yeah, like that. Okay, because your inner system is too deeply integrated with the kernel, so we're all just a bunch of crazy. Dang. Seems tough. Okay, um, so I need this for this one as well. That's plus one, this one will be minus one. So, this one, it's ne this should be greater than or equal to, right? No, because that's always going to be true. Um, so I might need to be... Something like that. Um, hmm. It's really the same thing, though. It's one, um, equals zero. Okay. It's less than zero. That's what I want to do. Um, okay, and then we have y, but it's still i, so, yeah, but i plus 1 is greater than, wait, uh, shoot, actually, this would be height, that is what I want to check for the y, then we've got this one, uh, yeah, alright, let's see, so this, Mm, I want the integer of this though. So it could be. Uh, yeah. Actually, I can just do something like that. Yeah, integer x minus one. Well, that should work, I think. Okay. Um, so. Let's see. So it doesn't work. Um. Another, another issue with Debian is that the pages are really old. Yeah. Mm, yeah, well, that's kind of the trade-offs that you have to make, right? Either stability or up-to-date packages. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could use, like, that's it's not really ideal, but you could use, um, like, uh, what, flat packs or whatever. Uh, they're more up-to-date than Debian packages, right? Like, generally more stable. Um, I don't really know much about that, but I think you can do something like that. Hmm. This might be a bit more bloated. Okay. Really, I need to call this on all of them multiple times, though. All right, do any of these get set to, um, to the right thing? It doesn't look like it. It's like they all, yeah. So, da, 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 mm. let's see. Um, that's really what I need to check, though, right? Hmm. 
just a pure system D issue with that just kicking the total bucket. Mm. Let's see what um <clears throat> what there's arch resistors that don't use system D as well, right? What are the alternatives even? I never really looked into that. Like what you have other than system D to use? I know that there's some. I know there's that Debian one, it's like Debian or whatever. Um I don't remember how to pronounce it exactly. Which doesn't use system D, I believe, if I remember correctly. Okay, so this doesn't work. Um what can I do to check? So this never gets called up with Yeah. Okay. Open RC, you gotta make every package known to man work with that. Mmm, open RC, yeah. Kinda waste of time, yeah. That's fair. Maybe this doesn't work. Um, maybe I should just use an integer here. No, that one can be that still. So, uh, just for the use points. Alright, let's see. Doesn't fix it, but... So let me think about how, so if we reach out, um, then we set it equal to that. Maybe I should have like a count. Um, got any other ideas? Um, well you really just have to in reinstall basically, right? Mm, and hope it, hope it works. Um, there's also like, mm, let's see. There's also Fedora, right? Which is like, mostly up to date but it's not quite as rolling as arch or something like that uh, i don't know very much about that mm, you could try it something like that um it's supposed to be more stable i think maybe not for this i'll do count plus plus oops uh plus, plus okay Okay, and then we'll set this. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Still get set. What is this about? Not sure it's reading properly. Hmm. I don't think so. So I think uh this is actually needs to be switch. Yeah, there we go. Uh now it looks better. Um still not working though. Makes feelings about Fedora between the whole red height issue and Fedora KD yeah. Hmm. Uh let's see, what else? Mm. Could try rolling Debian. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The only ones I've ever used really are Archbase Distros and then Stable Debian. So I don't know a lot about any other ones. This needs to actually be said. See you. Let's see. I think that's the last one. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's counting all of these. Yeah, all of those. So, hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it does go through. Okay, so these ones do get set. So, 
I just need a second loop. Can I do that? What if I do that? You don't do the count until the second one. Oh, um, well, I mean, I don't worry about the count right now. Um, but I do this, and then <clears throat> yeah, just do it again, basically. What will happen? Uh, yeah, so it doesn't get set. Okay. Then rolling is weird. Uh, you'd think that because the package is more up to date, you'd receive security updates quicker, but you actually get security updates later. Hmm, because not very many people use it, right? I see. Uh, so. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to look at this. So, this must not be working right, because this should encounter a not enclosed one here and set it to be that. Uh, really, I need to start from the bottom, kind of? Hmm. Hi, cop. Hello, Alavaz. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. Maybe I should set it as I go, sort of. Um, the ones that we pass over. Uh, let's see. Maybe the default shape should be not included. Well, no, that'd break everything, actually. Okay. AOC got you hooked. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, gonna work on some other stuff soon. Uh, but I have been... Uh, been pretty... I don't know. It's been pretty fun. Pretty fun doing this. More fun than I expected. Yes, but I do have some other ideas uh, coming soon. Some fun stuff. Let's hope OBS likes you now. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Um, yeah, I think I think really the problem yesterday was my uh, internet. Um, it just kept going out like briefly, and then at the end it went out for like twenty minutes or whatever. Um, yeah, it was not good. Um, it seems to be better today so far though. So yeah, hopefully it stays. Good day, mate. Good day. Okay, um, so is this wrong? I don't need to check this. X plus one is greater than... That's what I want to check, right? Greater than... Um, yeah. Something equal to weight. That's really how I want to do that. Greater than height, yeah, that is right then. Okay. So, haven't made a project. I've been busy writing. I use Arch, by the way, in every corner of the internet. That's fair. That's fair. That's um, that's a productive use of the time, I think. <clears throat> okay. Why is there? Oh, yeah, because I went to it then. I forgot. Hmm. How can I do that? So this one should be set pretty easily because I'm going to see what old Danny is doing. So we got to run before something happens because the debugger is always on. See ya. Have a good one. Have a good one. Oh yeah. Good luck with your, with your situation. System D situation. Rice it up a bit. Very nice. I should this first. If, um, can equals four, then do this. Anyone else, we can just return zero, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I will try that. Set it equal to not enclosed. Whoops. Okay, let me set up. Okay. System is pain. Mm, okay, that did something. Some more of them are there on the second. No, on both of them. Okay. So, yeah. Mm, not quite right, though. Let's see. What if 
That's not really right. Count equals four. Mm, we want to do that. We do this, else it. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. What if I do that? What is that? Let me set some all to true. Okay. And this, yeah, doesn't. Ah, uh, the control. Okay, so turn zero by default. Uh huh. But then these ones get set improperly, so that's not right. Okay. Equals four. So one, two. Oh shoot! But it could equal a lot more. Mm, no, it shouldn't. Yeah, because it breaks. Okay, never mind. Get about that. So um, so the count is less than four. Uh, Oops, I went too far. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the only definite case of not, well, these two, I suppose. Okay. Because otherwise, uh, we just want to make it, like, we really want to go over it again. Hmm. Yeah, because these ones shouldn't be getting set. Um, it's weird that this one still does. Let me, let me get rid of the uh, second pass. Uh, and then, let's see. Uh, I did that wrong, I think. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so just do the one. Mm. So, let's see. So, we are stretching out in each direction. Mm. Okay. We're setting eight of them right now. We only want to set four of them. So, if we counter all four walls, then we set... And we set it equal to that, so then it will work out. Otherwise, we don't set it, um, which is probably right. Uh, but if we encounter another one that is enclosed, then should we do something about that? Uh, maybe, but it could be falsely set. Mm, no, it won't be okay. Oh, let's see. Actually, I'll do this equals enclosed and we'll set it to that in the turn one. Let's see, can I do that? For all of them. Mm. <coughs> Discord, yes. I right, okay. And this is, should be the last one. Okay, uh, that should be working. Let's see what happens now. Then they all get to the tree. Yeah, so... Mm. Yeah, I suppose that's not right. Yeah. Yeah, no, we only want to send it to non enclosed. Oh, uh, yeah, so that was... I was right in the first place. Sorry to make friendly reminders, I use Arch, by the way. Yes. A lot of the people on there use Arch, I believe. Mm. Let's see. No, that's not the right one. Okay. Okay. So, why are these getting set? Um, but this one's not? That's kind of weird. Because mm. it's set after, and this one... Mm, I see. Well... What's my rice there? Nice. I will take a look at that after the stream. Okay, so if that is greater than, greater than right, not greater than equal to. Okay, uh, ooh, that did weird stuff. How did that happen? That's really strange. What? What, what, what? 
plus 1 is greater than width. So I mean x is equal to width. So that should be phi. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dang, it's just not right. I think this is wrong now. So. Uh, yeah, I shall know. Okay. What happened here? Um. Alright, I'm gonna put it back like how it was. Maybe I will uh, use some printing to see sort of what's going on here. Print is nine. Let's see, I actually want to print out um, every time that it's true. Let's see, do I want to do that actually? Oh, mm. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Is this not right? It is that way. Both of those out. And I can see which one we're at. Hmm. Where does it go? Nine, eight, and then ten. On the same Y. Print a new line there. Hmm. I haven't done A AOC in a long time. Uh, ha you ha so you haven't done it this year at all? What is this? Why does he go back and forth like that? Um, that is not right. Shoot, but it's the same Y, so let me print out the X as well, so I can see the exact position. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so it is different. Um, okay. So it goes 10, 9. So what is that right? So, 9. How's it at 10? All right, well, let me look at um, at seven y ten. So that's hmm, that's not right though. I sh although I should because my algorithm logic is very bad. Yeah, I'm not very good at it either. So, uh, AOC is helping with it. Um, kind of like leak code questions, except maybe a bit more. Bit more obscure and um, it's really more about figuring out what the question means kind of thing oh uh, but yeah there is a lot of a lot of that stuff and i think it's useful for that um, okay yeah so this isn't right uh, i think the y and the x they're not right um 
My small brain just can't understand what it's asking. Uh, well, yeah, it's not really a small brain kind of thing. It's more, uh, the questions are very confusingly worded. All right, let me just make this input square. Um, and then it's going to be a lot easier. There we go. Uh, yeah. Did until day two, and that's it. Um, yeah. A lot of people did until day two, and then... Yeah, it's kind of repetitive, though. Like, a lot of the stuff is similar. Uh, like string manipulation, parsing kind of stuff. Stack smashing detected. Okay, uh, I did something very bad. Pretty bad. Hmm, interesting. Must be reading out of bounds. Didn't rest because I wanted to learn it, but I stopped because I have no reasons to learn rest. Well, I think rest is useful to learn just to, like, even if you're not going to use it, but just to become a better programmer overall. I think it's pretty useful for that. And, okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Why is it 14? Huh? 1, 4. Oh, it's stuck in a loop. That is interesting. Uh, hmm. Might be from these conditions. Hmm. Alright, let me print this out. Uh, so where is that move that now? Uh, X is 5 and Y is 5. Okay. So right here, it gets stuck. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, is it trying to go downward? Or what? Ah, well no, it's just calling it on the same one, isn't it? Doing this open up Okay, yeah, because it's calling this again, so. But it's putting it out down here, so what's that about? Let me get rid of this secondary one that I have. Uh huh. So it's printing out the type here. If I do that, then, yeah, that is what it's doing. Uh, shoot, but then, yeah, so it's doing it twice. So one and four, so. It goes on one and four, though, so what's that about? Tiles width? What is the tiles width? What is, that's just the total width, yeah. Okay, hmm. Why would it get stuck there? Am I forgetting to iterate something here? Mm, and then it's doing this. Huh. Why would he do that? Yeah, why is J? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, five and two. Yeah, why is it stuck? Hmm. I don't know. Did I mess something up in here? Hmm. 
It's 11 by 11. Huh. That's not very good information. Let's see, are we actually returning? Let's see. No. So we're not doing that. So why is it printing this out so many times, though? Uh huh. So, like, it's not stuck in here. Very right fast. So something about that gets stuck here. Probably because I switched B. Well, that shouldn't do anything with that. Mm. Don't need this. Don't need that either. I can get rid of that thing here. Root. Oh shoot. Uh whoops. Uh oh. I think I broke it. Whoops. Crashed Vim. Okay. They prints out very fast. Uh let me just like return. Let's see. I do that. Oh, uh, it's just gonna crash on the first one. Yeah. Alright, so then that one does get set to true, but that's a really weird place to be. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Uh, is that where it's breaking, though? That is stupid. Okay. Uh, but it does work though, so. Let's see, and then I can see what's happening. Yeah, whoa. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, it's actually in here that I want to do that. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I just want to see where it starts happening exactly. One needs coming too long, but I can't make it less. Than that. <clears throat> mm hmm. No, it's stuck. Uh, yeah, that's kind of not good. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's stuck now. Hmm. Because it's trying to finish out a lot of things. Let me. I need that. No. Uh, okay. Maybe that's not the best way to do that then. Um, so. Maybe I should reconsider the whole thing. I'm just going to start over. So let's not set this date here. Maybe, mm, maybe we could just return from this. Return a state. So, you know, instead of returning zero, we return not equal to this. It's all the return zeros, but return not enclosed. Maybe I'll start these over, actually. Start it over and try to do it again. 
to get rid of that. Um, so it's always going to be false. So just do this and then equals um, close. Yeah, so then none of them return that. <clears throat> this isn't like that. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay. Mm, so we're putting it out properly. That means we're iterating over it properly as well. Um, okay, so. This is going to set any of them to true, uh, which we don't want. So we want to. Basically, um, or, um, I, I'm just using it here for this, int i equals x, it's less than width, alright, so let me try to get this word in just on the, well, the x is in the middle, maybe I'll do the y first, um, because that one is, I use j as well. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so J plus plus, and then, um, it should set some of these to false, so if, um, tiles x, j, dot type, is not enclosed, or, or what, um, so how do we want to know, or, yeah, j minus 1, less than 0. And yeah, just return my input. Okay. Mm, that state. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So there's no true state. Um. But so if um times x j. Alright, so this isn't quite how I want to actually do it, but yeah, then that sets up a lot of them to true. Hmm. If you count plus plus if that's the case. And if I count Okay, so yeah, that is going to return and closed. Uh, we probably want to set the current state as well. Yeah, so I'm just do um with all the end. Okay. So now um I will do it for the so x as well. Um just the yeah, so set i with x i is less than width i changes to i this is not the right condition plus one it's greater than here. okay this needs to be i and this needs to be i okay Something like that. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, then this one actually gets set properly. So that's good. And then all the rest of them as well. I uh, set for these. So those are not right, of course. We're not checking all the conditions yet. So now we can do this one and do it reverse greater than zero and do i minus minus this one actually needs to be zero okay and then the rest of it should be fine so you can do that here as well 
eight spinning in zero. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, then none of them gets hit to true though. So, hmm. these ones should though, because it branches out there. So, hmm. count is always zero. Uh, no, count becomes eighteen here. Why is it 18? Because I'm not breaking. I'm gonna break. Okay. Break, break, break. Okay. Uh, I don't want to break this. Uh, too many did get set to true, so that's not good. Uh huh. Hmm. Need that as well. Okay, sweet. Y and I. Wait, hang on. Yeah, that's fine. And here as well. All right. Dot dot. My dead. Uh, dot. Yeah, it is dot dot. Okay. Uh, so now a lot of them do get set to false. Mm. But not the right way. So like these, mm, so this must not be right. Uh, it needs to be. Mm. Okay. Two. Why did that make it go up? Hmm. Um, okay. It equals the hang on. So mm. I want to break. Uh, no, because that would turn, so we don't need to break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why is it getting set to true? On so many of them. Like, why are these ones? I don't understand that. Okay, sure. Hmm. Don't quite understand. Hmm. Where really they want to set them all and then go through again. So maybe this isn't the right approach. Maybe I should go back to the recursive way I was doing. That might be a good idea. Hmm.
it really feels like it's not that complicated, but it's just, mm, yeah. Let me try it again. Okay, <clears throat> going to start over one more time. Going to get it done. So the plan not equals is the base case. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do it recursively. So if um, I'm going to need a count C, and if um, so x plus one, the one right next to it. Type uh, does not equal ground and y uh, type uh, that's not right yes one uh, type no not uh, that connection equals one and count plus plus all right so that is if it is right next to one um okay we do that again for each one Uh, so this one's going to be y minus 1, this one will be y plus 1, this is x minus 1. Okay, and here's well. Alright, uh, something like that. So, <clears throat> we're going to do that. But then there is other conditions as well that we need to check. So, if the one next to it is a ground, then we want to call it again on the other. Uh, let's see. I can do that, and then I can have a site condition if um dot uh connect or no, dot state equals not equals then turn dot code and also set the code. Point. Otherwise, um otherwise you just want to call it on itself. So int once equals um, shoot, but I can't do it like that since we're not returning an integer. So let me just, uh, let me change it again. Just to be an integer again. So not closed will be zero, and then closed will be other one. Uh, so that can still be that, actually. But this needs to be zero. Okay, make count equals four in the turn one, and set the current state. Okay, something like that. Um... So it's going to close on tiles with height x plus 1 and y. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. And then we can check this for each one as well. Go right there. Okay. So this one is uh, minus 1. And minus 1. Okay. This is x or y plus 1. All right, all right. Yeah. So I have this. Right. Yes. All right. And let's see then. So let me try building it in the compiles, and then yeah, okay. So we save fault. So, <clears throat> so what's happening before? Is it? Could be reaching out of bounds actually. We might need to check. Let's hope it works. Uh yeah, did not work. Um <clears throat> Yep. Uh okay. So I think it's probably because of this. We might not be checking this properly. Mm, plus one is greater than I feel like we are grabbing out of bounds, basically. Mm, okay. So that's even worse. Um, what size state means? Um, it's basically just an unsigned integer. So I think it's 64 bits. So it's like u int 64. Uh, which means it can't be negative, essentially. Um, yeah. So it's always positive. So you usually use that for, like, array indexes and stuff. Where if it's negative, then obviously that's not valid. <clears throat> okay, so while uh, this is greater than wait. All 
right, I'm going to move. <clears throat> Alright, uh, maybe it's equal. Well, no. That one is not to be an int. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm. Yes, why does it say called there? What are we on? Uh, ooh, okay, so it gets stuck in the loop again. So this was happening before. Um, shoot, that's why I added the previous. Um, maybe I should add another state, check in, and set it equal to check, essentially. So basically, x, y, dot state equals check in. And then we just want to check, and the state does not equal check, basically, uh, on this one. It's x, y, dot state is not equal to Yeah, like that. Oh, if that makes any sense. Because then, um, yeah. Because it'll be checking, so then we won't check the same ones. Okay. That was better. Uh, it still didn't work. If I comment down, I can see better what happened. Yeah, so it didn't set any of them to true. So, must not have been equal to that. Um, something I need to do, though. Let's fix that. Anyway. Okay. So, mm, that is very weird. Why would this one get set? Okay. So, state equals checking. And then, yeah, we set the state for each one. That is one. Hmm. So why is that? Thanks. Why? Alright. X equals two, y equals eight. So why is that? Why is this one? Set to true. Uh what's that about? So, um, Hmm. I can see. I want to see if this triggers four times, basically. So check that for each one. Or if it's getting set from the other ones. That makes any sense. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't trigger one time. So, so the other ones uh, are not right. All right. For some reason, uh, the ones surrounding it are returning that. Turn zero. Uh, I didn't think I was before and after. Let me put it out once. What? Hmm. Don't quite understand that. Did I not build it? Hmm. I don't know, but that's a different kind of power opening up. Oh, yeah. I am kind of stupid. Okay. So wait, where is this being iterated then? Because it has to be here. It's going to be here, but... Hmm. Okay. So that gets called a bunch of times, but... Hmm. <sighs> okay. So that one never happens. Then. 
can never make it to these. Which is a pretty big issue. It's kind of strange though, so why would that be the case? Um, Shoot, I forgot to add that. Um, yeah, okay, that's why it's always... Mm. Alright, uh, I didn't change anything though, but... Mm. Okay. Should have really changed that. Um, uh, okay, well, now this does get called sometimes. Uh, the count is three there. It's before, after, and let's see, so after. So it goes from three to three, so that means it was false. Why, why does that one, and that one only, become true? I don't get that. Um, okay. <clears throat> this is working. Uh, it's closer. It's not working, but it's closer. So, yeah, that is doing that. So that's the only time that is true. On this one, for no reason. So for some reason, this is always true. Uh, not connecting. <laughs> so the type is ground. The type is not ground. I mean, um, and that is there. Mm. Something I need to do as well is set um, set this. So, uh, yeah. Above all this, all this stuff. Uh, we need to set the starting to be connected now. Um, because yeah, otherwise we do not. Uh, it is not, and then it will break stuff. So if I get rid of this now, it should still print it out. Yeah. Okay. So that should be working then, for that case at least. Um, didn't fix anything, but. Um. So, what is wrong here? So why is this always true? No, it's not always. I mean, why is it never true? Except for this one, for some reason. Mm. Uh, let me put it out. Yeah, right there. I want to do that each time. So for some reason, it gets iterated on each block. Um, and it really shouldn't. Like, on this one. So looking to the right of it, why does it get iterated here? So let me... Let's see. Yeah. And it does. Um, but why? Uh, I should print out. Uh, so I'm going to print out the one next to it. I know it's x plus 1, y. Let's see. But I know it's 1, because it says 1. But why does it say that? I'm going to have to type as well. So the type is 0. Yeah, so it's a ground. Wait, no, 0 is a vertical. Why is there a vertical? Why does it say that? On this one. Ah, uh, that's not true. Huh. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's on this one. So it's saying that this is... Huh? How did that happen? Um, that's not... Shoot. The X and the Y are backwards here, aren't they? Mm. 
J. Okay. Well, now we don't have that problem. Because it was looking... Hmm. So, let's look at that. So, it is closer, though, technically. Um, kind of. So, yeah, why does this not work? Because this, it should start here. It'll look at all these, and that is true. And then it'll look at this one, and it'll look at the surrounding ones for them. Hmm, but we, I guess, if we look to the left, um, and it's checking, then we'll set it equal to one. Okay, so if any of them around it are checking, yes, okay. So, basically do this in the state equals checking. So, maybe I want just a sub one again. Basically, uh... Let's check. Uh, yeah, get rid of this from here. Then I want to... Plus, plus. Something like that. Because otherwise, it'll just return false. Yeah, okay. So do count plus plus, and then else would do this. Alright, uh, yeah, so that's sort of the conditions that we're looking at. Let me actually copy it like this. And then I need to adjust it to be right. So this is minus one. And I give it this. Okay. All right, uh, same thing up here, right here. This is x minus 1. Okay. Oops. Minus 1. Okay. And get rid of this. All right, and then one more. Plus one. All right. So let's see. Okay. So that's actually right then. For this one at least. So uh, let me try it on the other input. Let's see. So like, um, see, I don't know if this one will work. It's not squared. That is kind of the issue. So let's see. This is, this is going to be what? That's 20 by 10. Yeah, so let me... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I want to do that, and then I'll just make it and do it until it's done. Uh, yeah, so then it is actually properly a square. So, yeah. Let me try that. Did I actually get the right one? Is there an S in here? There is. Okay. Count is 58. Ah, I don't think that's right. Yeah, it's supposed to be 8. So, mm -mm. that's set kind of weird. I feel like it didn't identify it correctly. Uh, also, this is not the right size, so. Count is 11. Okay, that's closer. Not quite right, though. Let's see, so where is it wrong at? Um... We have one tile down there that should not be there. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like that's not right. I know it does work on me. Let me let me just... Uh, let me try. Oh, you know what? Uh, it's because I don't consider everything. Hmm, I forgot about that. Yeah, so I do need to adjust it still. But let me just... Let me look at what we can put out this. 229. Yeah, so I don't think that's right. I'm going to try it. Um, I'm almost certain it's not right, though, because I don't handle a certain case. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, the case I'm not handling is this, and I forgot about it. Mm, so, yeah, basically it can squeeze in between the pipes, essentially, is what that means. So, I need to get that. Uh, I think that's more important than this. Um, okay. If I can get... Uh, yeah, if I replace all these with a dot. Uh, then it's not going to work. This is part one. This is part two. Part two. 
uh yeah part one was basically just finding um finding all of the tiles and then finding the farthest point from them this one is you have to find the area within the tiles essentially so let me actually expand this so it is the right size all right um so it's not gonna work shoot i forgot to change it to the testing Sink up, uh, because it's not the right size in my tank. Okay, count is 12. Yeah, so it identified those as being within there, um, which kind of makes sense that it does that, but it's not supposed to. So I need to, it's a bit complicated. Uh, basically, need to look, uh, look at whichever two surrounding it, and if they are a certain type, then goes all the way down until we get outside of it essentially so and that depends on which direction it's coming from also okay um yeah so that's really just kind of more if statements basically mm. yeah okay so if we handle that, it's going to be a lot different. Um, okay. Um, do, 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 let's see. So yeah, basically we just need more if statements. So let's say we're going to the right. Mm, let's start with going down. So that's y plus one. Um, so if it is either of these or a vertical one, then we can keep going. If, but they have to be next to each other. So, hmm. so if it's not ground <coughs> and that, then we need to check further. So if uh, time of x, y plus 1, dot type equals, um, let's see, so we have vertical. Vertical or times x, y plus 1, dot type equals, uh, so what is this? So this is like, so that'd be uh, southeast, equals well, southeast, or y plus one dot height equals um southwest okay but they need to be next to each other as well then we want to just um want to keep going basically so yeah what to do so we don't want to do count plus plus we can do else here count plus plus. in this case though we want yeah then we basically want to do this change everything closed on that one Mm, okay yeah and do the same thing so but first of all so it can't be that because we also need to check the one next to it so it can't just be that equals vertical or that is that so if it's southeast and then the one next to it is either vertical or shoot we could have these as well dang okay those those ones um yeah those ones could work as well so these are north northwest and northeast I want to lay out all the ones that we have, and then I will figure it out. Uh, yeah, northeast or that. Okay. Uh, and let me actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I forgot the dot type here. So, let me. Um. So. So basically. <coughs> If we have one of these and one of these next to each other, then is that also valid? Mm, it could really be any of these next to each other. Yeah, any of these could be next to each other, right? As long as, and we'll shoot, no, if that is there, facing that way, then it cannot be. So it has to be, the right side has to be one of these, and the left side has to be one of these. So, um, hmm. yeah. So both could be vertical though. All right, so let me add this and, and, and then we have basically the same checks, except not exactly the same. So just grab that and then there we go. Like that. 
kind of messy, but okay. All right, so, um, there we go. Okay, so we have something like that. So, but this needs to be a plus one. But then we also need an or for x minus one. Yeah. Hmm. So we could kind of and that or same thing again, basically. Uh, which is, probably isn't the right way to go back to this though, but I don't know how else. Mm. Okay, so. Uh huh. There's too many of these now. Alright, alright, alright. Um, mm. Yeah, I want that. Okay, so yeah, so now we need to adjust these to be proper. And then we need to do the same thing for every other one as well. Okay, so, but this is going to be x minus 1. Yeah, minus 1. Uh, uh. Something like that. We might need more checks for this though. Shoot. Hmm. What is a better way I can do this? I don't know. But basically, we need this, um, but then for the minus, we also need to know the first type. So, yeah, we kind of need, we need this to not be like that. Um, and instead, yeah, and this, or, and then the first condition, again. Like that. Uh, so I don't know if, whoops, I don't need to do that. All right. <coughs> So, and the and. Okay, like that. Did you mean files? What? Shoot, I messed it up. Okay, uh, so I need more parentheses. Okay. No, what does it want? The parentheses get confusing. Okay, so let's see where are we at. So that is that. This one really wants, I need it to contain all the way to here. Then we need this. Okay, well, that worked then. So hopefully it's right. Okay, so the first one, if it's vertical, uh, they could both be vertical. So that is important. Uh, so that is fine. Uh, southeast. So if, um, let's see, so if this one is south east, then it won't work. So we don't want that for this one. Get rid of that. Okay. Do this. Uh, let's see, so southwest could be right. Um, yeah, any of the east ones are not right then, in this case. All right. And this can be vertical, and it can be any east one, but not the west one. So that is what we need to do here. But something like that. Okay, I think. And. Now I mess it up. Um, why is it messed up? Um, <clears throat> these parentheses get very confusing. Uh, so these don't have closing parentheses.
Uh, I feel like that is not right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Let's keep going through. So then this one is now the secondary one. So it can be vertical, or it could be any of the eastern ones. Okay. Then this one cannot be west. Okay. Or west. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So this. Uh. Maybe I should just remove all the parentheses and kind of start over. Oh, but that's gonna make it very confusing. Uh. Let me see. So they're all on one line now, so it's easier to tell. So we need this one and this one, or, all right, so this needs a parentheses. Let me, yeah, let me get rid of all. All right, so we do have the one for the if statement. Okay, get rid of this and this. Okay, so if this and this, or this and this. All right, that should be all that we need, right? Hmm, let me add. one yeah this can be in here and that or this one and this one okay there we go okay so hopefully that's right and now we need to do it again for all the other types as well okay I can do that so let's try it for y minus 1 now. So the one right above it. That's in here. Okay, did I actually? Yeah. All right, so this one is upward. So it's pretty much the same thing, but south, I think. Um, no, shoot. South, um, wait, it might be exactly the same. So it could be vertical, vertical ones. Or it could be southwest, that way. And then to the right, I think it's the opposite, though. Wait, shoot, is this, this isn't even right, is it? Uh, shoot, no, that's right, that's right, yeah. So southwest, or northwest, and yeah. Okay, so I think that's the same, actually. Then it's just going to be different for the next one. Hopefully, hopefully it is the same. For the exits now. So instead of vertical, we want horizontal. I know that. Okay. And then this is going to be... So, yeah, I think then one of these will be east and the other one will be west. So, let's, uh, let's see, let's see. This, first of all, ah, uh, shoot, I need to change this to be negative. On all of them. I can actually, I don't know. There we go. Okay, so that should be fine then. And then, this one I need to get rid of, oops. So that can be y plus 1, that's fine. Ah, uh, but we need x minus 1. For all of them. So let me get rid of the lines quickly. Ah, uh, all of them have to be at minus 1. Okay. And then some of the y's are different. So, uh, first of all, we need, <clears throat> we need just write y, and then we need y plus 1. So that will be down, downward. And then we need y minus 1. Okay. This one is plus 1. Okay, so let's look at that. So, if we are horizontal, and it's here, um, so it could be, could be a few things um <clears throat> so we could have we need anyone that is going east and then right under it anyone that is going east as well uh, but it can't be connected to the north so top one needs to be north and the bottom one needs to be south okay so this needs to be north north and it could be west or east i think so yeah mm, and this one needs to be south East or southwest? Uh, I think so. I think that is right. This one is 
So this is if it is there and then there's one above it. So yeah, it's basically the opposite. Uh, so yeah, this is south, east or southwest. And this is northeast or northwest. Okay, I think that's right then. So let me try that now on the next one. But I just need to replace the place the condition. So change um, x minus 1. Uh, x minus 1. Why doesn't that work? I forgot that. Okay, x minus 1 with x plus 1. Okay, let's see if it compiles. It does. And it probably won't work. Safe fault. Okay, nice. So I probably messed something up. Shoot, because I don't check the boundaries. Mm. So I can do it. X minus 1. Mm, no. Y minus 1 is less than 0. Or Y but Y plus 1 is greater than height. And I want to find 0. Something like that. This is X. Okay. Let's see. So, thanks. That's always false. Um, Okay. Two cycles. Okay, so that didn't work. This needs to be equal to, though, right? Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty well. How are you? Actually, we already checked it, so I shouldn't need to do that. Like 10 to. Ah, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Um, I'm having a hard time with it. I've been stuck on it for a bit. Uh, even though it doesn't seem very hard, but, you know, you know how it is. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we say bolt when we do that. So, why did that happen? Um, we shouldn't be checking out of bounds. But, because if we do check that, we do check to make sure that we can check within one point. So, I might be doing something else wrong. Uh, well, this isn't right, first of all. Yeah, I forgot to change that condition for each one. I think that the Y's are right, though. Yeah, okay. So, what's that? That wasn't a problem, though. Okay. This is the part that's really messing me up, is these. Um, like, you know, how it can, uh, it still counts out of the loop if it can squeeze between the tiles, right? Or the pipes. That is what messes me up. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> uh, seg fault. So why is it seg fault? See what is the one right for this? Uh, okay, so it gets stuck in a loop again. Hmm. Am I not checking? Shoot, uh, I need to check this. Hmm, that's the problem. Okay. Okay. Let's do this here. So eight files x plus one y dot state checking. Then just do this. Otherwise, do this. Okay, and that that should be fine. I think that should work. Uh, okay, and do that for all of these. All right, all right so that's minus one. Mm, I need to change this again. 
Okay. And then this one is the Y's. So let's change Y. Y plus one. Okay. And then the last one. Nice. Y plus one. Y minus one. There we go. Let's see. Files and segfault still. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Um. <clears throat> okay, why? Do I still get stuck? Hmm, because it can't. Because it goes back and forth here, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so how can I do that? Well, the state still gets set to checking. Ah, uh, shoot, okay. I could just use a while loop um, to just check while, while this condition is true, basically. Um, to just go all the way down instead of doing this. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. This is really tripping me up. Okay. So. So I'm going to try it. Well, um, this condition. So I'm going to copy the whole thing. Um, well, that is true. Do um, y minus minus. <coughs> or what do we want to do? Ah, shoot. But we need to look at two different ones. Because we could want to do y minus minus. Or, no, we want to do... Uh, X plus plus, actually, in this case. Okay, yeah. X plus plus, okay. And then... Then we need to see what it's at at the end. So if it is... Uh... I don't know. What if I just, um... If I just do this, rather than checking all the stuff, you know? Ah, uh, that's not right though, but I want to, I don't know. Um, hmm. then none of them gets set to true, so it's not, hmm. Shoot, because now it's going to be greater than 4, isn't it? Okay, I guess that's not the case. Um, so why? Why does that happen? Pray. Pray indeed. Dang. Uh -huh. I got it working just without, without this. This just really throws it all off. Dang. What's a better way to handle that? I mean, what if I just inserted spaces between them? Mm, I don't know. That wouldn't really be easier. Dang, that just makes it really difficult. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to go in probably about 15 minutes. So I don't know if this is going to be done. So we don't say fault, but it also gets set to zero. 
So I don't know how that would happen from this. And it's 12, huh? Oh, yeah, because that was so. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what's another way to do this? So, we'll find 0, 0, 3, 2. Um, hmm. see because it works on this one uh, this one actually works let me try this one again that is 20 yeah okay so Is also point okay. Just make it square. Um, okay. 79. Um, so that's not the right size. 11. Okay. And it's supposed to be 8. Uh, I think. 8. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think it's with the squeezing thing. That is why. That is why there is more. Um, so. Yeah. Let's see. Where does that happen? Oh, shoot, so it's not only on the ground pieces. I should have read through the whole thing. Okay. Ten tiles are enclosed by the loop. Yeah, so it could be a tile as well. So I kind of need to redo the whole thing. Because I forgot about that. So... So it could be one of those or one of those. Okay. Yeah, so I really don't need to check the type. Uh, yeah, just anywhere that I check that. So this just be an else then. Well, I really need to check that. Still. Well, do I? Because <clears throat> yeah, it's not gonna work at all. Dang. Okay. Mm. So, so why is this one not enclosed? It can go diagonal as well, or what? This one too. So. And it doesn't squeeze, so why is it not? Uh, I don't understand. Hmm. The rest of them make sense, but it's just those two. I don't quite get it. So how does it squeeze through those tiles? Hmm. How does that happen? So that's an L1, that's a J1. Shouldn't that be enclosed? Mm. Uh, da, 
uh, let's see. Does it really, like, go through, like, that? Well, no, because these are connected, so I can't do that. And these two are connected, uh, but these two aren't, I guess. So we can go there. We can get to this point. I guess it goes like that. Dang. Okay. Hmm. I don't even know. Like, I don't even quite understand the rules. Makes it a lot harder. Instead of an I, let me print out something that looks a bit more different, so like a dash or something. <coughs> I guess that's not quite different enough, is it? Um, maybe. See, so that's all right. Uh, this one is right. Uh, well, this one's wrong, I mean. This one is wrong as well. So where's the other wrong ones? Because there's, so there's 11. And there should be 8. So there's 3 that are wrong. So I know 2 of them. Where is the third one? Here, that is right. Here is why is there one here? Oh, that's the S. Hmm, that's not good then. So why does that one get set like that? It must be the S, right? Yeah. Next one is that. Yeah. All right. So that's what it is. Um. So that one is getting set. Um. Hmm. Why does that happen? Should be set to connecting. So it should bring it out down here, right here. Yeah, can do that. Um, yeah, then it does that. So that's fine, I guess. <coughs> guess so. Yeah, so then there's just the two that are wrong. Um, because they can squeeze somehow. But I don't understand how I say. And that makes it pretty complicated. So, what can I do about that? Because if I got that to work, then I'm pretty sure it would work on the whole input. Let me do it on the actual input again and see what we get. I think we got like 229 before or something like that. Got a lot of stuff here. Shoot, but it's not going to work because, yeah, the actual input has a lot of those things. So yeah, it's not going to work at all. So actually, yeah, there's no point in trying that. Uh, so I need to get it, I want to get it to have the same output on this one. Pretty much. Um, maybe not. Let me see. Because this one, uh, yeah, we need to make it work not just with the ground effect. So what is this? This is 10, 10 by 20. Okay, so let me just add dots then. Mm. Whoops. Uh, there we go. And yeah, let's do that until it is 20. There we go. Okay. Because then it, then it is square. So I need to... Yeah, right now it's not going to work at all. Yeah, we get one. Um, Because, yeah. Let me get one to be ten. Uh, well, these get considered to be dots, uh, but they are, yeah, those are the ones that are supposed to be enclosed. And we do get this one, right? Must be a dot or something. Well, no, why is that? Oh, uh, no, we get a different one. I don't know. Uh, well, let's see. So we need to make it work not just with the ground types. 
on because I didn't I did not remember reading that. So yeah. Get rid of that and then make this just an else. Okay. So yeah, anywhere that we check for ground, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Let's see. I spelled else wrong. Okay. So, 10. We get 10. So that's actually the right amount of it. Um, okay. Yeah, it still doesn't work on this one, though. Because it can't squeeze or whatever, you know? And yeah, I need to add... Okay. And that is still 10. So it is working the same as it was. It just needs to be. Why is it this? Don't quite understand what that's about. Uh, hmm, I grab. So why is it printed out though? Okay, that's a little weird, but I don't think it breaks anything. So I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, so we need to figure out the squeezing, and then it should work on the actual input. Yeah, so what does it do now? It might just break. I think it's stuck in a loop. Hmm. That's not good. I think this out a little bit to tell. Yeah, it does seem to be stuck in a loop. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. It's because this isn't set right. Uh, hmm. It still gets stuck. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, uh, it's probably mm, not good. All right, let's focus on this first. And this breaks now because it's not the right side. Okay. Okay. So yeah, how can we? How how does it even work? Like I don't even understand how it works. Except this one, how does it get out? Because I guess through here, and then this one can get out because it goes through here. But mm. so as long as it's not one connecting into it, the best debugger print app. Yes, the best one, definitely. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Mm So as long as there's no one connecting into it, we can go through here, I suppose. I suppose that is how it works. So, yeah. If you have one that's facing west, for example, as long as there's not one that's facing east, and that's also facing west next to it, then it's fine. So we could check that. Um, and I guess that would work. And then, yeah, so that's the only direction. Hmm. Yeah, I and mean, then it's the same horizontally and vertically, I believe. Basically the same thing. Yeah, because if this is facing west, or it's facing, yeah, it's facing west, so you can squeeze through it or whatever. Um, and this one as well. So you could go through here. No. Yeah, because this facing south. So, yeah, you need to actually consider north and south as well. So if you have one facing south, you can't go. But if there's one facing north, as long as there's not another one facing north, okay. Then the other direction doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, so I think that's how we have to do it. So on the X, mm, mm, mm. so <clears throat> if it's connecting, we need to check if it is facing, yeah, facing that way. Okay, and then we have to call it again on itself. So, hmm. All right, uh, well, I do have to go now, so I will commit these changes, um, and I will think about it as well. And still. Okay, uh, yeah. Taking a while. Um, yeah, so, let's make sure that worked. Yeah, I do have to go, unfortunately.
Um, okay, my browser died for a second. Uh, yeah, I do apologize, but I do. Mm, okay, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you can get it figured out, uh, probably tomorrow. So, yeah, that is going to be it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.